Hey everyone, so recently I made a post on Facebook and Instagram asking you guys for any questions you might have for me to answer in upcoming vlogs. So basically how this is going to work is I'm going to pick one or two similar questions and answer them in a single vlog. This way I can really break it down and get into depth with each of the answers. For those of you who really want to uh, know more about whatever the question is I'm answering. So, today's question is on how to make money and make a career out of doing parkour and free running. Now, there's first thing for you to understand is that there's a lot of different ways to make money doing parkour and free running. So I'm going to talk about some of them, but realize that there's probably more ways than I'm going to even talk about in this video. So it's up to you to do the research and to be open-minded and ready to pursue whatever it is you're most interested in and passionate about and also take in mind what your strengths and your weaknesses are. So the first path I'm going to tell you about is actually the path I'm on right now which is YouTube. YouTube is only in the last few years become a really cool opportunity and a cool way to make money doing videos. And for me, because I love making videos and I love doing parkour, it was a perfect fit. But I didn't start out planning on doing YouTube as a career, because at the time that wasn't even a thing. I started out, uh, after a couple of years of doing parkour, deciding that I love doing it so much that I want to somehow make a career out of it. And naturally at that time, I wanted to pursue something like stunt work or performances, because that was the closest thing I could relate to parkour. But even with wanting to pursue those things, I still made YouTube videos as a way to demonstrate my abilities when I did contact filmmakers or stunt co coordinators or people to, uh, who would want to hire me for my abilities. And so it was actually through those original YouTube videos that I met Devin Graham and was able to do the Assassin's Creed parkour video with him and because of the success of that video, it really grew my own YouTube channel and I knew that there was potential there for me to make money and pursue the growth of my YouTube channel. So I, that's when I did, after a couple months when that video came out, I decided to pursue making YouTube videos full time. Now realize that it's probably not going to happen like that for everyone who wants to pursue YouTube. I was super lucky and blessed to have that opportunity to um, get all that exposure and all that help in the very beginning. But for a lot of people it takes time. It can take up to years to slowly build your channel and to gain a following. Um, and But just realize that it, just like with anything, it takes time and hard work and, and even though I did have that initial um, kickstart in the beginning, it still takes a lot of time and commitment afterwards to keep that growth going, to keep that flow going. But basically how YouTube works and how you can make money on it is two ways. One, through the ads you see on all the different videos. Each time someone views one of those ads, that means a little bit of money for the creator of that video. And then also brand sponsorships, which is actually a way you can earn more money than the ads provide is I'll actually work with brands on creating a video for them that promotes their product or movie or whatever it may be and uh, and then based on the circumstances I'll be paid a certain amount depending on how much how big the production is and and various things like that and so those are <clears throat> so YouTube is definitely a way you can pursue making money but it also is going to take time for you to build that. The best advice I can give you if you do pursue that is to collaborate. Find other YouTube channels um, with similar amount of subscribers and work with them on creating videos that promote each other's channels and just keep doing that as you grow and then reach out to bigger channels and, uh, and that's one of the best ways to do it. And maybe you will get lucky and, and some big YouTuber will want to hire you and, and willing to promote your channel and that can be a, a big jump start in your YouTube career. The second um, way, which was already kind of mentioned, is through stunt work. So that was originally what I pursued and it's something I still do on the side because I think it's fun and, uh, 
and a cool opportunity, especially after meeting the CBR stunt team, um, I'm often able to do different stunt work for films with them. Now if you want to be a stuntman, realize that it's going to require more than just parkour skills because in the film industry, there's the need for parkour is a lot smaller than the need for stunt falls and fight choreography and things like that. So if you really want to be a stuntman, I would strongly recommend that you also learn some other skills like fight choreography and stunt falls, which as a parkour athlete, you should naturally be able to learn those a bit quicker because of the coordination you've developed learning parkour. But those things will definitely help you. And traditionally how stuntmen get into the business is through hustling stunt coordinators on sets. They'll find out about where a film is being shot, they'll find out who the stunt coordinator is, and then they'll sneak on and try and talk to the stunt coordinator, try and show them his, their skills and things like that. Luckily with the internet and um, YouTube and things like that, I personally haven't had to do it that route. I've been able to just um, be contacted from people who uh, like my skills and want to use me in a project and things like that. And so for me, I, um, YouTube was actually a benefit for both worlds. I do have friends though who have done it the traditional route through the networking and contacting people and filmmakers. Either way, the biggest thing is that you do have a YouTube video and a reel to demonstrate your skills. That was something that was super, super important for me to have so that when I make all these contacts and connections, people actually see the evidence behind my claims. The, the claims behind what I'm capable of doing. So just make sure you have a video demonstrating your different skills and whether it's parkour and free running or additionally martial arts or tricking or stunt falls, you know, all of those things will help sell you to filmmakers, stunt coordinators, or even companies if it's for like commercials or um, brand integration on your own YouTube channel. So the third way you can earn money is through teaching. I actually taught for a year or two, first in my backyard and then at a gymnastics gym, and it was a lot of fun. And the requirements for teaching are basically that you are at a skill level that you feel comfortable teaching other people how to do parkour safely. And especially if you have a knack for knowing how to break down movements and explain them very simply for kids to understand, you can definitely be an amazing teacher. And, uh, and just depending on where you live, you can either start up your own one-on-one -on -one private lessons or classes, or you can work at parkour gyms or gymnastics gyms, and, and uh, those are, there's all different ways to go about doing that. But then if you want to take it a little bit farther, you can actually start up your own gym and become a manager of the gym, and that you, way you would have more opportunity to earn more money, but it's also going to be a lot more work and doing a lot more things that aren't just doing parkour. You're going to have to do a lot of managing, a lot of um, coordinating and, and business running, things you typically maybe didn't picture yourself doing, but again, there's more potential to earn money there depending on how successful you are. But with any of these jobs, you're always going to have to do things that are more than just doing parkour. So keep that in mind that as much as you love doing parkour and passionate about that, you'll also need to do things that maybe you don't enjoy doing as much. Like for me, I have to also be a filmmaker to an extent. Luckily I enjoy doing that. I also have to contact people and constantly um, reach out and coordinate videos and things like that. So it's a lot of tedious work that's not just doing parkour. And now the final way I can think of for you to earn money doing parkour is the professional competitor route. So this is where you've reached a level where you're super confident in your abilities and skills that you want to actually compete and go to competitions and make money doing that. Now if you, this is the route you choose then you'll definitely need to be doing a lot of traveling so that you can go to all these different competitions and you can make money either through winning the competitions or being sponsored um, at the competitions or by other companies if the competition allows you to promote or wear branded um, clothes or gear or whatever it may be. 
And to be a professional athlete, it's not just about training daily, it's about constantly pushing yourself, constantly pushing yourself to the next level, being creative in your movement and trying to keep up with some of the big moves that are being thrown around the world, some of the newer tricks that are being discovered. And so you're constantly kind of pushing yourself at a level um, to be the best you can be. And that can also sometimes be a little bit more dangerous than if you're a teacher or if you're just making YouTube videos. But I know it can be a lot of fun. I personally haven't done a lot of competitions myself just because that's something that doesn't really interest me. But if that's something that interests you and it's something you want to do, um, then that's awesome. Go for it. Just remember that whatever it is, if you're passionate about it and you're hardworking, you can make it happen. You just have to be open-minded and creative. And sometimes through that process, you still have to work side jobs so that you can make the money on the side to help support what you want to do in the long run. Just like I did construction before I started pursuing YouTube full-time and stunt work full-time. So, hope that answers your guys' questions. Um, that's uh, as much as I can think of for now to give you in this video. Um, let me know if you have any additional thoughts in the comments about ways you can make a career doing parkour or, or earning money because I know there's more ways than I've listed here. And finally, I would recommend that you actually check out the Ferengs website. They actually wrote up an article on how to make a career doing parkour and free running, and I found it was very, um, very useful information for anyone who wants to know more about that. So I'll probably have a link to that in the description. But otherwise, thanks for watching this video. And let me know more questions you'd like me to answer in future vlogs, and thanks for watching.